Hi, this is Chris Ball from Mashpee TV with another Mashpee update. With me today is John Schumann, the new act, fairly new activity director at the uh, Council of Aging Senior Center here in Mashpee. John, thanks very much for coming today. Why don't you um, tell us when you started this new job, a yeah. fairly new job, and what, what it is that you do there. Okay, well, <clears throat> thanks for having me, Chris. First, thanks for the promotion. Um, I'm not a director, I'm a coordinator, <laughs> but okay. uh, that's fine, thank you. Uh, so we'll, yeah, We'll take care of that. All one. right, yeah, we'll, 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 we'll take care of that. But I am the new activity coordinator at the Mashpee Senior Center. I started it in December, and I'm really enjoying the job very much. Um, basically, what it is is what the title says it is. I um, take care of scheduling, uh, researching all of the activities uh, that go on at the, at the Senior Center. As you know, there are a number of them that go on every month, every week, and uh, I just need to keep scheduling those out. And then there are many activities that are new to us uh, that come in you know, once a month. We may have an entertainer or something like that. So I uh, coordinate all that stuff and uh, write some descriptions and get it out there so that uh, uh, our assistant who handles the newsletter, the printed newsletter, can get it into that publication as well as getting the information into our computer system so that everybody else can see it. So that's essentially what I do, and I do that part-time, um, and I'm liking it very much. Great. Sounds good, but if you were a director, it might be full-time. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but anyway, so as part of this, it's my understanding, well, more than my understanding, because I went out and got my key tag, mm -hmm. and we have a new program, uh, My Active Center. Correct. That uh, really goes far and above the way things used to be in getting people signed up, coordinated, scheduled, exactly. et cetera. So can you take some time and explain to the people of Mashby how they go about getting a key tag, how they sign up for My Active Center. Sure. Uh, I'll let you explain it. You All know right. it much better than I do. Okay. Well, many people already have a key tag. Um, and if you have a key tag, it's really simple to... I got mine. There you go. Okay. And so really what you need is, is that key tag. If you don't have a key tag, it's easy to get one. Come into the Mashpee Senior Center and fill out a couple of, couple of items and your signature and you'll get issued a key tag. But my active center is an online registration process. So in the past, everything was done on paper. And uh, people would call or come in and we would schedule everything. We had notebooks and it was a little bit cumbersome. So we've eliminated that paper and can, it can all be done online. So you or anybody else who is a member of the Mashpee Senior Center who has a key tag can create an account at myactivecenter.com and uh, you'll be able to see everything that's going on. You'll be able to register for events, you'll be able to, uh, if you registered for something that you didn't mean to, you can unregister, if that's the right word, but it doesn't sound right, but uh, unregister for an event. So it's pretty simple, it's web-based uh, and uh, you really can't break it. And uh, it, it's integrated with everything else we do. So uh, when you come into the Senior Center, most people are used to seeing the kiosk there where you scan that key tag. Right. That is connected to my Active Center and to my Senior Center, which is the software we use in the back end to enter all the data. So it's all connected and integrated and up to date. So one of the nice things about my Active Center is if there's a change, now let me back up first. My Active Center does not replace the printed newsletter. The printed newsletter will still come out. It'll both be in print version and also available online, as it has been. So it's not a replacement. It's, it, they complement each other. The newsletter has, the printed version, has a lot of stuff that doesn't go into My Active Center. My Active Center is strictly for registering for activities. And it will give you the description of all the activities It'll give you the dates, if there's a cost involved, and so forth. And one big advantage is, if something changes, you can't change the newsletter once it's printed. It comes out every two months. Once it's printed, it's printed. If we have a change, a cancellation, something gets added, 
we can put it into the system and it'll be visible online as soon as I click OK. So you could think of it almost like uh, an interactive uh, electronic newsletter, but it's strictly for activities. Uh, and again, I emphasize it doesn't replace the newsletter. So it's pretty simple to get started on that. Yeah, tell me, t well, let's tell, I've, I've done it. Okay. So let's tell our audience how they do it. Okay. And let's take it step by step. Okay. Because, you know, it was pretty simple. Even I got it, but. <laughs> Took the words out of my mouth. I was going to say if you could do it. <laughs> Anybody right. could do it. But, you know, it, it's really pretty simple. But, it is. you know, for uh, people that aren't used to computers and playing with it, you know, step by step would be good. Yeah, so. okay. So uh, an interesting comment you made if people aren't used to computers. So there may be still some of you that really want nothing to do with a computer. I understand that. And so it's not that you can't call us or come in and register. If you really don't want to get on a computer, we hear you. You can still call. You can still stop by. We ask that you do that um, certain times. I uh, believe it's Tuesdays and Thursdays from 10 to 2 if you want to come in or call. just makes it easier for us. But by and large, uh, you know, the world's going digital. So uh, this is a, an easy system to use. And to get started, you don't need much. You need six things. You need a key tag. And if you don't have one, like I said, it's easy to get. But you, first, you need to know the website. You just go to myactivecenter.com. Let's back up one second. OK. To get a key tag, you must go to the senior center or not? Yes. You so, must. So you can't do that strictly online. You right. need to go to the right. senior center. Right. And I'm guessing that the majority of people we're talking to right now have a key tag already. But if you don't, come in, very simple form, we'll give you a key tag, not a problem. But the first thing that's going to happen if you go online and try and register, create an account at My Active Center and you don't have a key tag, it's not going to let you do it. It's going to tell you to go get one. So yes, you need one, but probably most people have one already. So you need to go to myactivecenter.com. You need the key tag. You need your name. I think everybody knows that. You need your phone number, your email address. So that's what you need to get to create an account. And then it'll ask you to create a password. Once you do that, it's very simple. Well, that's simple too, but it's very easy. So um, the first thing people are going to see is uh, a page uh, that will ask you those simple questions. And so I'm going to go in. Yep. And that page will come up. You'll get a, a page. I go to myactivecenter.com. Correct. It's going to ask me to register. Correct. Okay. And then this page will come up. And it's going to ask you that information. Your name, your phone number, your email address, your key tag number. If you don't have a key tag number, it will it'll ask you if you have one. If you say no, it'll pop up a screen and basically it'll say go get one in a nice way. All right. Once you have it and you enter the key tag number, Create your password, which, you know, the password, obviously, uh, if you're like me, you have dozens of them. The information that's going in there about you is not, there's not a lot of personal information. So, you know, pick any, any uh, um, password that you want. Uh, you don't have to worry, you know, if someone were to hack it, so to speak. It's not like they can grab all kinds of information and steal your identity. So um, make the password as complicated or as easy as you can. There are instructions on, on the, the minimum in terms of password protection. That's easy to create. But isn't it true that most of your personal information isn't there? It's in that other piece, my senior. Right. That's, that's correct. Chris. So there's even more protection. That's right. Okay. When you go on there, first of all, nobody else can see anything about you. If I log in, I can't see your information. You can't see my information, which is basically my name and phone number and email address. Um, what I can see when I log into my account is there's, a, there's an account tab. So I can look it up if I wanted to change my password. Um, I can see that information on me, but I can't see it on anybody else. And then I can see all the activities. 
So um, it's, it's pretty safe and secure. It's easy to use. I can't emphasize enough, you can't break it. If you make a mistake, you can easily fix it. There's really only two mistakes you can make. If you go in there and you register for an event you didn't mean to register for, you can unregister. It's as simple as that. And there's a box that tells you remove and you're, it'll take you off. And the only other thing, if you forget your password, then there's a password reset uh, button, which is, you're probably all pretty used to seeing those on different websites. So when you go in and create an account, it'll uh, ask you if you have a key tag. If you have one, you can create it right away. If you don't, you have to go get it. And then um, you'll be able to log in, and it'll ask you to look for your center. It, you'll see centers. The, this software is used by probably all over the country. And you will see a lot of different centers. You'll put in your zip code, for example, to bring up the closest centers. And if you put in Mashby zip code, the first one it's going to show is Mashby, but it will show a bunch of other centers that are close by. Then you'll click on Mashby, and it'll bring up all the activities that are in there for the Mashby Senior Center. And then you can register. You can filter it. If you don't want to scroll down the entire list, you can put some criteria in by, you know, what things that are free or things that cost or things that are only on Mondays, those kinds of filters. It's, it's very, very easy to use. Okay. So if you look for Mashpee, um, you get the sign-in screen. Once you sign in, you see all the activities. You pick your activity. You click on the activity. There's a description on it, what it is. Uh, some activities are single events. Some activities are series. Uh, for example, ukulele lessons. I'm taking ukulele lessons. Okay, um, how's that? Well, that's good, but you don't want to, you know, I, I'm not ready to do a concert yet. Okay. But, um, when you are, we'll have you back. Uh, well, I don't know about that. We'll get, we'll get Kathy in here with her, her ukulele club. But uh, that's an example I want to give you. And there are a number of, of examples like this where when you sign up for ukulele, you want to sign up for the series, not just one lesson. And it's clear in the system when it's a single event or when there's a series that you should sign up for. And it's also clear whether there's, a, <clears throat> excuse me, a cost involved. Some activities cost money, some don't. If there's a cost involved, uh, it kind of works like a shopping cart, the whole system actually. So you pick your event, you register in a, for your event, it goes into the shopping cart. And when you're ready to check out, you check out of the shopping cart just like you do on any other shopping website. If there's a cost involved, it's going to tell you we don't currently, we're not currently set up to accept money online, credit cards and so forth. I don't know if we will ever go there. So what it'll tell you is pay at the senior center. So you don't put the money in there. It says pay at the senior center. You confirm everything. It actually gives you a receipt. It tells you, you know, you can print it if you want. Uh, but the beauty of this, too, is if you forget what you've signed up for, I mean, I get phone calls sometimes and they, people forget, did I sign up for this? Or I know I signed up for this, but when is it? You can look it up. If you don't have the newsletter in front of you, you can look it up online very easily to see if you've signed up for it and uh, when it is. Um, so it's, it's really convenient to be able to, to know what's going on any, at any time when there's any changes whatsoever. How about if for some reason an activity gets canceled? That pops up? It will, um, <clears throat> it will show as canceled or sometimes it might just disappear. Um, I have the ability to have the system uh, to take it down completely so it doesn't even show up. What will have, it depends too when it gets canceled. Um, but I can add to the description that it's canceled, or if there's something that nobody's registering for, you know, we try to pick things that we think people are interested for. Once in a while, we get something nobody registers. I might just take it down. Um, in general, though, for example, I'll go back to ukulele. Um, once the series starts, you're not in, in, in a lot of these classes where you're paying for the classes. Uh, you don't want to come into a ukulele uh, lesson mid midway, especially if you're brand new. So um, if it's canceled for some reason, 
I have the ability to notify people. I, it, that's another beauty of pre-registering. I can send out an email to anybody who's registered for an event and, and tell them it's canceled. And that's only as good as the information I have in the system. So. Okay, but that would be, come via email to their email address. Wouldn't be like it would pop up on my active center or you, you might take it out. I might but take it out. not like they would get a personal alert. They no. would get a personal email maybe. They may get an email from me. Okay. Um, the other thing that I can do, and again, it just depends on timing, what it is. I can go in there and I can write canceled. Um, in bold at the beginning of the, dis of the description. This, this particular class is canceled. Okay. So um, I can do that. Uh, I also can have a display on the kiosk when they come in, in case they didn't see it. It can say canceled. Um, so yeah, we can, we can do that. Another thing I want to emphasize about, we, we'd love people to use this system as much as possible. However, there are activities that we don't want you to register online. And you might say, why is that? <laughs> I was just going to say, why is that? All right. We currently, the system, I mean, it's new. The software developers are constantly looking at it, listening to suggestions, updating the software. There's not a good way right now online for us to take individual appointments. So there are activities. I'll give you an example. We had, um, we had hearing screenings last week. Those were individual 15-minute appointments. If everybody registered online for that, I wouldn't know what time. I don't have the ability for people to pick a time. You don't have time slots. So. Right. Not okay. yet. I hope that's coming. So the activity will show online so you can see it and know it. And at the very beginning, what I'm trying to do, in, well, every time there's a case where we don't want you registering online, it will tell you that. But you got to read it. I'm trying to remember to put it at the very beginning of the description. Please call, do not register online, or something like that. But I still want it there so people are aware of it. There are other activities. Um, there are programs sponsored by the VNA of Cape Cod, for example. And some of those require pre screening, medical health questionnaire. We can't take that information from you know, privacy. Right. So it instructs you to call the VNA, and they take that information, screen you, and then they send me the list with no personal information other than these are the people registered, and I plug them in. But we can't have people registering online for those types of events. But they are publicized online. Does that uh, make sense? Well, it makes sense to me. All right, good. All right, what else? What else? Well, you know, you can click away anywhere on the screens and, uh, and, and find out anything you want to find out. Um, it's pretty simple. I'm sure I'm not covering every single screen there is. Um, it's hard to remember. You don't have to memorize anything. You just don't be shy. Don't be afraid to click. Um, to find out information. I, I printed out a bunch of things uh, here. I can flip through them to see if I remember a particular screen I would like to point out to people. And I know that we can show it uh, on here. But I think I covered the gist of everything that is really important. Um, well, I think the big thing that you said while you're flipping through that yeah. is that you know people need to have the key tag Right. If they don't have one, they go to the senior center and get one. Right. Then they can go to myactivecenter.com. Correct. Follow the prompts Correct. and, you know, have the six things that they need. Right. And sign up. And once they're signed up, it'll walk you through all the activities that you can sign up exactly. for. Yep. And uh, it's pretty easy. It is easy. It's pretty easy, and as you have said, you can't break it. No, you really can't. So, and you know what? If you think you broke it, give me a call. We can, we can help you. What's your number? No. <laughs> <laughs> Just the main number. Uh, but seriously, it's very easy to undo what you did. And if for some reason you can't, uh, give us a call. We can take care of it. Uh, not a problem. Um, but, you know, 
it's also very helpful to us if you registered for an event and for some reason your schedule changes, and we understand that. Uh, we're all busy people, things happen. It would be really helpful to us if you would go in unregister, remove your activity from, from, be, from registering because we have some activities that get filled up pretty quickly and we would like to open up space for anybody else on the waiting list. And it's just as easy to unregister it as really it is, is to register. Yep, you'll you see. You just gotta do it. You'll see a button in various locations uh, and it says remove. Click remove and it'll take you right off. So it's pretty, it's pretty simple. Okay, anything else? Well, I just, I really want to emphasize um, that it does not replace the newsletter. They complement each other. Uh, it's updated constantly. So if I uh, go back to the office tomorrow and I get an email that uh, an instructor has to change a class, I can put it up immediately. Whereas uh, if it's in print, once it's printed, it's printed. So, you know, if you have a question whether something uh, is changed or a date is changed, you can look it up. You can call us, but you can, you can look it up very easily. So, um, you know, well, I want to emphasize that. I also want to emphasize that uh, if you're shy of computers, we are holding some classes. So I think there's one scheduled uh, this Thursday. Uh, there's a few more scheduled, and you can see them in my Active Center. And the, the class is for training you on my Active Center. So what I'll do, I'll be running the class this Thursday. What I'll do is bring up the system right online, and I will run through all the screens, um, show you a lot of what we've talked about, which we'll also see on, on the screen here, and um, give you the opportunity to ask questions. And then, time permitting, create your account if, you're, if, if you haven't already, and I can help you do that as well. If you bring your uh, tablet or your phone or something, but we want to go through the website first to show you how easy it is, and then uh, if there's time, we can help you create the account. Okay. All right, so you have the newsletter, you have my Active Center, you also have Mashpee TV doing the senior news with uh, Sharon Muller. Right. So the word's out there. Right. And it's several. also in the Mashpee Enterprise. And Mashpee Enterprise. So, folks, there's no reason that you can't sign up for stuff. It's right. And activities. And right. if you have a problem, call John at the Senior Center or whoever else. Yeah. They're really friendly. I've been up there several times, and they're helpful. Yeah. And, the, you know, the other thing I'd like to emphasize um, is Please, when you come into the Senior Center, a couple of things. It would be really helpful uh, if you check with us and let's look at your profile to make sure we have the correct email address, to make sure we have your correct phone number, emergency contact, and so forth. Um, I had a, a situation where I had to uh, cancel an event, and uh, I sent out an email to everybody that was registered. The problem is, if I don't have your email address, you're not going to know. And so it would be helpful if you uh, check and we can update your profile, make sure it's correct. Also, when you come in, to make sure you do scan your key card. Uh, you know, some people think they can just, you know, we're not, yeah, you can come right in and, if, and, and bypass it. We don't want you to do that. Uh, it's important that you scan your key card because it provides us with, who's in the building if there's an emergency. It creates a statistics for us that we can use because justify our existence and justify funding. Um, the more we show how this place is getting used and the more people that are there, if we don't know about it, we can't generate the st statistics to show it. So please do scan your key card when you come in. All right, so scan those cards, make sure you have them. And uh, yep. sign up for my Active Center. Yep, very simple, and we're here, still here to help. Well, John, I want to thank you so much for coming in today. A lot of great information here. Uh, any last words? No, just looking forward to seeing you. Um, and we're always looking for suggestions. Seek me out if you've got some ideas. Uh, I've got a lo long list, so I, I can't promise you I'll get right to it, but I will do my best. We want to provide activities that you want uh, and 
we're willing to, to listen to what you have to say, uh, research what you want to do, and see if we can accommodate it. That's great, John. Thank you so much, and okay. thanks for coming in today. You're welcome. Thanks for having me. Thank you. Once again, this is Chris Ball from Mashpee TV signing off for today. Get out there and uh, get my Active Center working for you. Thank you.